But uh, yeah. Okay, so you want to factor it? Yep. It's whatever this is, yeah. And so x equals negative nine. That's all. Oh. Negative oh. nine. Negative oh. nine. <laughs> and you got you have two of them. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay. Well, I thought he wanted. Yeah. Hold on. Uh, okay. I got. Oh, okay. It works. Some... Okay. Never mind. I, I grab something. It would just take a second. Yeah, I'm back. Yes, yeah, keep going. And now you want to write a quadratic equation. And that's your equation there for that one. Huh? So y equals x. Yeah. Uh, sorry, I'm doing some other stuff because. I'm not, I was doing, I was distracted because I had to do something with my email. Well, I'm, so, I'm sorry, repeat that. I can't hear you. Sorry, I was just, I had to do something with my email on my phone. Oh, God. Okay. Yeah. It's not working. No worries. Character active on 16 and it's too much. Okay, so here you want to do more factoring. Mm -hmm. Now, in this case, 925 are perfect squares. Yeah. So you can write like this. Maybe you get five thirds. Yeah. Yeah, just having the answer, we're done. Yep, sorry. Um, five slash three. Right. So, how do I, it's not let me do a fraction. Just hit divide. Divide? Oh, no. Oh. It's, it's, it's right next to shift. Shift. Five slash three. Just hit okay. the slash button. Don't let me do that. Hold on. Okay. Okay. Then then hit um. Hit the window to the right. Window to the right. Button. Yeah. Just hit this right here. There should be something there. This. Yeah. Um. Uh, well, wait, wait, wait. Hold on. Down. Oh, you know what? They want you to put a decimal. So then it's one point six seven. Oh, yeah. That's weird. They don't let you do a slash. Yeah. No, they would not let me do slash. Oh, weird. Okay. All right. They all want to see you. <laughs> so I think he's getting dragged into this kind of thing. Okay, let's keep going. Okay, so. But assume you have to do this. Yeah, so what you need to do is you need to do negative B over 2A. Mm -hmm. Find the vertex. Mm -hmm. 
Saudi Arabia today. Yeah. So, okay. What are the numbers? Will be two. And then you want to put another three back into the equation to get the y coordinate. Oh. Uh -huh. <laughs> Bottom line, let's see why. So negative three times four. Uh huh. Negative three. Right. And then you want to plug in points to the left and to the right of, of negative three. So it's negative six. No, say negative. No, what's my order? How about one. No, two. Yeah, ne negative two, negative one. Yeah. And negative four, negative five. That'll make that'll make your lives much easier. So plug Wait, those in. The last one, I didn't hear it. I I, I, I wrote down negative two, negative one, negative four, negative five. And you just have to plug it back into the equation and work it out. It might help to actually factor out the negative first. Yeah, I need I need to undo this real quick. Yeah, yeah let's just start for the yeah, edge. Let's do the table and then I'll just pull it all over. Make it ten times easier for myself. Yeah, I'll 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 just help you out. Yeah, because like we've been doing, <laughs> we've been doing this for like so long. It's getting so boring. Like yeah. all we do in class is just like get to go with a partner uh -huh. and do like thirty of these, and it's just so okay. important. No worries, no worries. Yeah. Hold on. Uh, there's three. Yeah. Okay. 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 Makes sense. Yeah, spot those points and you're good. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Um, and then, yep, that's it. Then what's this? X equals. Well, you don't you don't have your vertex yet. Oh. Negative three count four. Negative three. Oh. And then X would be. X would be. Yeah, then, yeah. Oh, no, you're you have done that now. Just 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 graph it. And then so what's x? It says solutions x equals. Oh, then that's negative five and negative one. Okay, and then this one. <laughs> yeah, just solve for a Z in each case. So it's yeah, just set each each of them equal to zero and solve for Z. So you go to zero and solve for Z. Oh, so it's uh, zero. Kind of. Oh, negative five. That's one of them. What was the other? Negative five, one. Or negative five, negative one. Or negative five, negative, no, no, negative, five, negative, ten. negative five, negative ten. No, solve it. You're not solving. You're just guessing. Uh-huh. You solve this one. That's great. Five plus Z equals zero. Z equals negative five. Solve the second one now. When we have five Z minus nine equals zero. What does Z equal? Four. 
Dude, solve for Z. Get, I, get Z by itself. Add nine, divide by five. Add nine. Five. Um, nine fifths. There we go. Yeah. Really? Like, oh, nine fifths. Uh, so, negative five. Then nine fifths would be. Right. You see, you see why it's nine fifths, right? Yeah. I hope so. Okay. It's very easy. It's very simple. I don't know what you were doing for. Um. And for this one, nine fifths. So that would be a decimal. I don't think it's gonna let me. Oh yeah, we'll load it. Uh, I don't know. Nine. It should let me. Okay. So there are more than if there are more than one in the room. So solve for W. So a 30. 30 is one of them. No. Well, Back up what, by W. Wait, so I'm, I'm looking at that 30 right there. 30 plus negative 30 is zero. You got to factor first. Oh, yeah. So, um, so it's a factor. Uh, um, um, wait, can I use the like? I'll use the bathroom. Like, like I'm getting kind of antsy. Okay. Go, go for it. Go, just go there. All right, I'm back. Um, let's start from the top. So, so you want to pull out your GCF? Greatest con factor is uh, I need one. No. Five W. Five W. Yeah. After you pull it out, what do you get? You pull out five W, you get W minus six. That's it. Right. So what's W equal? Minus uh plus plus six. Or zero. What? Or zero. Oh yeah, or zero. Yeah. So would it be zero? Yeah. Yeah. Two answers. Zero and six. Okay, that's it, right? Yeah. Six. Uh, if not going to cover you, you. Some of them, you don't even know they're there until they they the usual policy, and then all of a sudden, you know, just like what happens with the game. Okay. Right? Okay. No one even knew that the industry existed when they released this, you know, this, this, this policy says, oh, we're not going to approve any new game that's under the usual policy now. In fact, the kids will go up. Okay. Hey, um, U equals. Oh, uh, let's set up. U. You want to factor it? Yeah. Um. Negative eight. Be negative two for one of them. No. No. What two numbers multiply negative 10 after negative 3? 
Hold on. Um, it be pretty easy. Uh, well, we will well, one because I love how just like one ask me one. Multiply negative ten, add to negative three. Oh. Hold on. Negative five and positive two. Good job. So it's negative. It's negative five and it's five and two. Negative five. Five, five and negative two. Okay, so um, Okay, so for this one. Okay, so Okay, hold on. Make sure you're factoring correctly. I kind of just shot. I don't know. I just. Shot. I thought I got kind of got the right numbers. I guess I didn't. Yeah. Okay. I'm going to do it by trial and error. Um, I think it's. I yeah, think I it's got negative five. Yeah, you, you should get this. So it's negative one and five thirds. Yeah, reversed. Oh. Yeah. That's good. You're close. Okay, let's write this one out. Okay, here. You have two y squared. Mm -hmm. Okay, then you want to move everything over to one side. Yeah, so it would be negative six. Right. It'd be negative six and then three. Three. Take three. Hold on. So we move everything over. What do you got? Uh, y squared. Six. Yeah, y squared. Okay, then what happens if you move the 6y and combine the 15y? 6y and combine the 15y. That's 21y. What was that? Sorry? 21y. No, you got to subtract 6y. Oh, none. Okay. And then after that? Um, you could... After that, you add the whole... You can't... Be 9y squared... Or do 27 minus 9. 18. Good. Okay, now factor it. And three. Oh, factor. Um, Y, three. Uh huh. Plus three. And six. Six, yeah. Good. What are your answers? What? What are your answers? Uh, well, negative six three or negative six and negative three, uh, right? We didn't think that. 
Uh, area of rectangles, 66, 100, other dimensions, yards, length. <sighs> what find a re It's been a while since I've done geometry. Yeah, let's see here. So the length is seven yards and three times the width. So if the width is X, this would be three X minus seven, right? Yeah. I think so. Um, uh, yeah, yeah. Okay, then you multiply those together. Mm -hmm. So that'll be, that'll be 21. Okay. Keep going. Hey, you, you, have, you, have to, you have to distribute. <sighs> now, this one's a little tricky because numbers are pretty large, you know? Yeah, I don't really get it. Kind of lost. You don't get what I've done so far? No, I don't get like the length thing because I haven't done like, since I haven't done any of this stuff since like seventh grade. So no, no. What what what, are, what is you don't get the uh, the multiplication, the factoring, the uh, well, it's kind of like well, just the kind of the multiplication, not really so much the factoring. Okay. Yeah. No. You you just do length times width. Uh. Yeah. X is your length. Three x minus seven is the width. Just multiply it. So three x minus seven. That's. 3x squared minus 7. Okay, yep. Yeah, yeah and, just, just, uh, and then the factor part's a little tricky. Mm -hmm. You have negative 198. Yeah. And negative 7. Uh-huh. Mm -hmm. And uh, big number, big numbers. Hold on. Um, I think it's going to be 11 and negative uh, 18. Uh-huh. 11. I think, yeah. I think I do the box. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> okay. So that's equals six or negative 11 thirds, but you can't have a negative length. Uh -huh. So you can go six. Yeah. So, so your dimensions are six and um, 11. Six. Well, hold on. The width is six. Yeah, there you go. So, so we need the length, mm -hmm. the width, and the height. <clears throat> yeah. The total volume is 624. Yeah. Mm -hmm. 624. Then... You divide that by you no, know, you can't divide it's not a perfect square. Um yeah, yeah. 
Okay, and then uh, the dimensions, uh, when we solve it, uh -huh. uh, what do we get when we solve for x? We got, um, well, hold on. We got like, oh my god. Uh, oh, hold on. So you have um, x times x plus one. Wait, can you go, can you go up again, please? Because I have to see the rest of the diagram. Yep, yep, yep. Okay, so. Okay. Mm -hmm. So it's x minus 8. X. Because you're taking a 4 away on each side. And then it's also um, x plus 1 minus 4 on each side. So it's x minus uh, 7. X. Minus seven times four. Wait. So oh yeah, because you gotta take away you gotta take away those corners. It'll be X. And and then what you wanna do is you wanna divide everything by four, which is one fifty six. Thing. You want to foil. <laughs> but you can't have a negative dimension. Yeah. So then that's 20. And that's 21. P equals 20. Yeah. I thought you were uh, you Yeah. Uh, yeah. 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 Oh, but I just turned off, just turned off my computer. Go oh, bro, it's telling me get to this right, right there, right there, right there. Okay. Mm. 
So this is what you want to do is you want to make um, a quadratic equation like this. Huh? So x plus 8, x plus 6. Mm -hmm. I'm putting the x ball for y. And negative five for x. Mm -hmm. And work it out. Mm -hmm. So um, that would be negative equals three a plus one. Yeah. So in this case, uh, that's your equation. There you go. Okay. Equals, and this one's gonna be in the final to me. This is the last unit. The last unit's where I struggled it like very much. Like I really didn't understand last unit. That's what's gonna be needed as I heard from the Okay. So what's the answer for this? This should be pretty easy. The two answers here. Seven. And seven. And negative seven. Yeah. Do you want to move, move everything over to one side? Huh? Sorry, uh, actually, let's move the 18 to the other side. Then mm -hmm. divide by three. Mm -hmm. And you gotta work that out. Uh -huh. The calculator. The nearest hundredth. So you have four point nine oh and negative four point nine oh. Yeah. There you go. Yeah. Dude, that 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 seems a little I, I would not understand. Yeah. Sure. But uh going back on I think we're like, we're, like mm -hmm. we're, we're nearing we're nearing finals, right? Nearing I, what, sorry? Nearly like finals, like it's in a couple weeks. Uh, for that month, probably. So. Yeah, mine's in three, 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 four weeks. Yeah, around. Cool. Okay. I the last unit is they like, can be heavy on the test, and I'm kind of I don't. That's like the one unit I really think. Got I it. Understand. Okay, so last one. Okay, sorry. Um, yeah, so you want to... Um, actually, the answer is no solution because really? when you square something, it can't be negative. It's a trick question. Uh. Right. Again. Yep, and that's all I have for today. Good, perfect, good. Uh, we'll see when we meet again. Let me stop the recording. You meet on Tuesday or Sunday? I, I think you're right. Let me double check. Hold on.